What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Coral Reef Talk. In today's episode, we're doing a quick little update on what's been going on with the tank. Now, if you've been following the channel, you know we're in the middle of the Reef Tank Rebirth series. Now, the Reef Tank Rebirth series is where I am upgrading, updating, and revising the 210 gallon reef tank, and we are trying to make it better than before. So we've added new light fixtures, we've added sand to the tank, and now it's time to start adding some corals and taking a look at how the lighting and everything is affecting the tank. So we're gonna jump right into it, but before we do, the best way to know when videos come out on the channel here on YouTube is to be subscribed to the channel. So if you're new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button and checking the bell icon to be notified each and every single time I post a new video. So if you wanna see any of the previous videos, like when we added sand to the tank, or if you wanna check out the new Aquatic Life light fixture, I did a full review on it. You can click up here somewhere or I'll post the link in the description below. Okay, so today I wanted to do just a quick update on the tank. So we'll take a look at how it's doing with the lights and everything. So let me grab the camera and we'll go right into it. Okay, so here's the current state of the tank. As you can see, I'm horrible about scraping the tank. I still have all this Coraline algae going on. Um, I do have some cyanobacteria going on right there, it looks like. Um, but the toadstool coral has been loving the new lights and the new flow. Uh, so got some green star polyps back there, some rodactive, rodactus mushrooms everywhere as well. And this hairy green mushroom is just phenomenal. If I can get my camera to focus on it, there you go. Now this rock right here is the start of the zoanthid garden. And you can see I have a few plugs of zoas right there, some Kenya tree that's bothering the zoas, so I gotta get rid of them. Uh, probably cut them off and move them to another side of the tank. But look at the anemones. The anemones have loved pretty much every change that's happened in this tank. And they're starting to get some of their bubbles back. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that. Right there, that guy. This guy's bubbles coming back in this area here. And the skunk clownfish are doing great. They're laying eggs almost all the time. And we got the cellophane tang hanging out. But let's take a look at the zoanthid garden or the zoa rock and see what we did there. First things first, you gotta have the proper tools. So I got a brand new pair of coral cutters in my mystery reef box. And if you don't know about Mystery Reef Box, it's a subscription box that you get every month. And this box here that I got helped fund some of the aid project. Now inside I have this nice brand new pair of coral cutters. Thank you very much, Mad Hatter's Reef. Now when handling zoanthids, you want to wear protection. Unfortunately for me, I only had one glove left, so that's why you see one glove on. But my other hand, I tried not to touch the frag plug as much. Um, usually when you're fragging zoanthids or cutting them, you want to be very, very careful. Um, that's why you want to wear gloves, but today we're just cutting the frag plug, so no harm done. Now, a reason why you might want to cut the stem off the frag plug is let's say you want to glue it directly to the rock. You're not going to put it in a coral rack and you're not putting it down in the sand bed. You just want to mount it straight to the rock. So you just want a flat disc on the bottom. So you can just cut it off very easily with a pair of coral cutters. They're not that expensive uh, to purchase. You can get them on like Bulk Reef Supply, Premium Aquatics, uh, websites like that. So what you wanna do is make sure you have a small container of water so that your frag can sit in there uh, while you're preparing and getting everything ready. And then once you're ready to cut, uh, just hold it and put the coral cutters against it now you can cut around the plug in short little cuts and like weaken the stem and then uh, cut through it. But I decided I was just gonna give it a go and I squeezed as hard as I could and it cut right through. You gotta be careful when you're doing it this way though because that stem can fly off. Now to glue the plugs to the rock, I just used a gel super glue and I made sure it had cyanoacrylate inside of it and that glue is perfectly fine to use in your reef tank. And it's usually cheaper than getting a branded coral glue. Uh, so that's a cheap solution to gluing your corals to the rock. So 
When you're putting your zoanthids on the rock, you just want to space them out in a way that they have enough room to grow and in a way that you kind of want them to grow according to the, their colors. So that was just a quick overview of the process of cutting the stems off of your frag plugs, getting them ready for a zoa garden. So now let's take a look at the final result. So as you can see, this is a Sunny D and radioactive dragon eye zoanthid uh, frag that I got from TRSC Aquatics. As you can see, not all the zoas are open yet, but I left plenty of room for them to grow and fill out. So I can't wait for these zoanthids to start growing and filling up this rock and just covering it completely. Now, you may notice I'm wearing a Coral Reef Talk hoodie. Now with fall and winter coming and just the weather getting cooler, it's time to pick up a hoodie. And if you don't have one already, you might wanna check out the Coral Reef Talk hoodie. A link will be in the description below as well as up here somewhere, I'm sure. But check out the Teespring shop slash the Coral Reef Talk store for all the Coral Reef Talk merchandise to get your hands on a Coral Reef Talk hoodie. Well, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Like I said, I just wanted to make a quick video. If you enjoyed it, please, smash like on this video and if you're not subscribed already please hit that subscribe button and check the bell icon i know the light just went out but we're going to finish the video anyway so make sure you're subscribed and i'll see you in the next video oh did i mention pick up a coral reef talk hoodie today and i'll see you next time on the coral reef talk